Welcome to Rapid Ridge Farms, where we do things like our grandparents used to, from the way we raise our animals to the simple and delicious recipes we make. We love building community through food and agriculture. Here's what's happening at the farm. All right, so we got Colton and Landon, and we're just kind of hanging out right now, waiting for it to get dark for the uh, chickens to chickens to roost. Uh, Colton works here every day. Couldn't do it here without him. He is uh, lives in Marlton, married, uh, getting a good little start out. Colton, what what do you think about chickens? Very very time consuming and very they're. You don't have to hold back. They're pretty labor intensive, well, aren't they? I mean, I, they're not very strong animals. They die pretty easy. They're hard to take care of and keep up where you want them. And eat a lot. They do eat a lot, don't they? Expensive, expensive animals. All right, so Landon, tell us about you. Where, where are you from? Uh, Newcastle, Nebraska. Newcastle, Nebraska. So Landon is here going to the welding school, right? Yeah. Yeah, tell us a little about what you're doing here at the welding school. Uh, I went for uh, combined, the combined course with the structural and pipe. I'm now three weeks into the structural. Should be graduated in early January. So what kind of job will you expect to do after you get done with, with, the, with the welding school? Hopefully plant work. Plant work, so doing specialized welding and that sort of thing? Yep, pipe, hopefully. And what part of Nebraska are you from? Northeast. Northeast. What's it, how's this country different than it? It's really not. Oh, rolling hills and yeah, yeah. a lot of that, and then there's some flat, a lot of fields, bean fields, corn fields, alfalfa, wild hay, all that stuff. A lot of cattle. Yeah. Okay. So not a lot of row crop production there. Right, you got a lot of deer there and turkey. Yep. Yeah. Well, cool deal. Mm -hmm. How you like Arkansas? Oh, well, it's not too much different from home, so I like it. A little hotter though. Nope. Well, you haven't seen hot weather. You wait till next week. Everyone says it's hotter down here, but I don't know about that. Oh yeah, you just wait till next week. It's gonna, you're gonna, this is gonna make a believer out of you. Yeah. All right. Well, Landon's gonna. This is his first time to help us catch chickens. It takes about two hours or so, and uh, Landon uh, is staying what about two miles from here? Yep, at DJ's. Yeah. So um, staying a couple miles from here, and so we're glad to have him here helping us. All right, here with the rest of the guys here, and we're just kind of a waiting game right now. We're waiting for the chickens to roost, and we can go in there and get them all caught up. And uh, we got William here. William used to work here at uh, at the farm when he was in high school, and uh, he is off doing bigger and better things now with Arkansas Electric. Uh, got Mr. Gaddy here, and uh, got Dave, and with. Uh, Dave's here every day. He, he works at the farm all the time. He's kind of like Colton. We just couldn't do it without him. You can see Dave is in a full sweat. It's it's hot and muggy <laughs> out here, and, and everybody's already working. And tell us what your name is again. Dawson. Yeah, Dawson. Dawson is uh, also at the welding school. And Now, where are you from, Dawson? Ohio. Iowa. 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 Now, what part of Iowa? Northeast. Northeast corner. Now, how does... How does uh, how does this area of Arkansas compare to where you're from originally in Iowa? Straight flat, all row crop, a lot of wheat, corn, soybeans, right? So you, have y'all got plenty of water there for the row crops? Yeah, okay. So what what are you planning on doing when you get finished up with welding school? You're almost done, right? You are done? Yeah. So are you going to be working on a pipeline? Uh, refinery. refinery work. Okay. Shutdowns are there all the time. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Dave's here uh, every day. Like I say, we tell, tell everybody what you think about chickens, Dave. <laughs> he says it's kind of a consensus with everybody. Colton said about the same thing, and that's what I say too. Chickens take up about 50% uh, of all of our time here at the farm. They're really frustrating to grow, actually. But we're proud of the way we grow them. It's just really, really hard, really hard. So what's your plans, Mr. Gaddy? Uh, going to HVAC school in August. August. Yeah, so you, grad you graduated high school last year, right? 
graduated high school and gone to HVAC school and uh, at, at, where at now? UACCM. And William, tell everybody what you're doing these days. I'm working for the right-of-way company, the Arkansas Electric, to clear the existing right-of-ways and make sure they're all cleared. And nobody goes without power every time the wind blows. Yeah. So here's something that everybody's got in common this, that you've met here tonight is everybody worked all day, number one. And we're back here trying to work a little bit more so we can get it done. That's just kind of the nature of farming. Uh, you know, William drove three hours. He worked all day, and now he's here working. And I think Gaddy laid up underneath the air conditioning all day. I know Dave worked. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's hot. It's hot work in there welding, too. I know it is. So anyhow, we're going to wait for these chickens to... Uh, chickens to settle down and then we're gonna get started catching them and we'll show you how we catch them one cool thing about being in the construction industry for 28 years is I did end up with some pretty cool equipment so in construction one of these telehandlers is an absolute necessity for what we do and rather than rent it all the time we we've owned two of them and we would uh, we bought this one new uh, our company was doing the uh, Pinnacle Hills Promenade at uh, in Rogers. We did all the the woodwork there in that in that shopping center. If you've ever been to Northwest Arkansas and shopped in the at the Promenade, um, if it's if it's wood there, we did it. So that Skytrack rolled up in that parking lot, still had the plastic on the seat and had four hours on it, and we bought it. It was a huge investment for us, but. Even today, so many years after that, we're still using it on a daily basis here at the farm. These are all Plasson Quick Connects. Uh, we, they're, they're designed where we can just real quickly um, plug a hose into them and take water anywhere that we want. So we've got, uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five outlets. And then this is our inlet. So the water comes in here and then it's redistributed out through these other five uh, placons. I'm pretty proud of this contraption right here. This is a, this is a whole house medicator that uh, all of the water that goes to all of our chicken houses here come into this particular uh, tractor. And we're able to medicate the water in whatever way that we need to uh, in order to um, take proper care of the chickens. Um, one thing is apple cider vinegar, uh, copper sulfate. We can use things that help the chickens gut uh, in order to maintain, um, maintain its health and produce a better product. But the water comes in here, uh, it goes through, uh, if we want to medicate it, it goes through this medicator. And then from here, uh, from here, it goes back out, and then it jumps over and catches all the other uh, all the other chicken tractors. It's all plumbed in PEX pipe. You can see the the plumbing that runs down the walls, uh, and these are Plasson bell waterers here. So uh, always clean, fresh water. Uh, we clean these waterers out every other day, and our our deal is if if we wouldn't want to drink out of it the chickens aren't don't want to drink out of it either so the waterers here have cutoffs uh, the cutoff if we have a problem with water we can turn this valve here and we can remove the water take it to the shop we have spares that we can replace them with and uh, get them back drinking once these chickens get put into the crate and we get them um, onto the pallets, uh, we load them up on our, uh, we have a semi truck and a 48 foot trailer. And we load them up on that trailer. And then they are taken to uh, Clinton, Arkansas. And at Clinton, they have a processor there. It's called Natural State Processing. And they will process these chickens for us in a complete, organic matter and that's one of the one of the many reasons why our chicken is so fantastic is the way they process it uh, the chickens are actually dunked into a organic uh, hydrogen peroxide type uh, solution that is 
um, which is done for 20 seconds. And then the chicken is air chilled. When we started out growing chickens, we would we could put them on a bumper pull trailer and pull them up with, with the truck. And uh, then we went to two, um, uh, two other trailers. With, with, uh, one was a flat deck and then one was a bob truck. So we would take one load, turn around, come back to the farm, and then grab the other truck and uh, take it, take it uh, on the second trip. So we were up all night shuttling chickens around and this, this rig here allows us to put all of our chickens on it and we're able to move all the chickens in one load. It's been a huge time saver here on the farm. So here's another video. It's just a few minutes later. You can see the chickens are starting to settle down. They're, you can see a lot of them are starting to squat down onto the ground. Uh, they're preening themselves and they're getting ready to call the night. All right, so here we go. We're just like picking up little Easter eggs. They're not fully roosted yet because it's not quite dark enough. And what we'll do is we'll put eight of these per crate. We don't want to crowd them too much. And uh, make a full crate. And then that full crate's going to go onto the pallet. And then that's what we're going to fork up and load, load, on, the, load on the truck. I think we got one more here. And shutting them up. And that's how you catch a crate of chickens. Right, so we're forking up the pallet and we're gonna we're gonna boom that pallet in here to where the chickens are and by doing this by doing this we don't have to carry the crates uh, just a few feet where we can put them on the pallet First load on, Dave's gonna start the strapping process. These crates are kind of like Legos. They, they snap together, so you don't have to worry about them sliding off. They slap together, and uh, they're pretty stable. But uh, we're, pulling out the, we're pulling out the straps, gonna throw them over. I'm gonna step up here and hook them up for him, and then he's gonna tighten them up. hard work folks thanks for watching our video if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to our channel just click on the subscribe button so you won't miss out on what is happening at the farm you can also follow rabbit ridge farms on facebook and instagram